Yeah. So thinking about your, again, a couple topics from Ephesians, um, again, relate to this thing of, you know, security, assurance. Um, so Ephesians chapter one talks about the Holy Spirit being a seal um, for believers and also talks about it being, at least in some translations, use the word, you know, a guarantee mm -hmm. um, until the day of redemption. Um, would you want to talk about that picture or those pictures a little bit? Yes, just a beautiful um, analogy that is used there. We don't use seals today, a stamp, uh, but it, it indicates ownership and um, we belong. And one of the one of the beautiful things about um, coming to life in Jesus is uh, the work of the Holy Spirit within us in which he regenerates us and he begins to produce in us the life of Jesus. And um, so the, the scriptures warn us against things like grieving the Holy Spirit or uh, doing things against his work, stifling uh, the, the work of the Holy Spirit. And so um, we, um, this is actually something that is very assuring and, and we can um, trust again that God is by giving us his Holy Spirit, making us his sons and daughters, he's actually, he's actually calling us his own and it's so assuring uh, for us. But then we must, we must not take that as, well, that gives me liberty to live however I want. Um, that would grieve his Holy Spirit and could stifle his work uh, within us and shortchange what, what God actually intends to accomplish by his Spirit within us. Yeah, so, and you use the word stamp for uh -huh. uh, the seal, which I find really helpful because, you know, in our current context, we can hear seal and we think about, you know, sealing a bag so nothing gets in and out uh -huh. or sealing a can or something. Um, and I don't know, it seems like that sometimes plays into, into that kind of thinking of unconditional eternal mm -hmm. security. It's like, well, God put you in the can and sealed it shut mm -hmm. so you're not going to get back out or something. But the image is actually the stamp, the identifying yes. stamp placed on, um, the spirit showing that you belong to God. Yeah. And then the Holy Spirit as a, also a guarantee of our inheritance um, until the redemption. Um, yeah, what's in that word? Hmm. Yeah, I think it is uh, the uh, again. It's that assurance that God will God will carry forward His work, um, and it's uh, it is it, I, um, the sense there. If I recall the the wording in the Greek, there would be this this idea of a down payment or first first, which guarantees the re the remainder to follow. So God isn't going to abandon us. He's not going to abandon his project. And really the, the, the setting there, all of the objects of the verbs are actually plural. So it's, it's actually not just individually, but it's this, it's this assembly that he's gathering. He has, he has poured out his Holy Spirit. He has given as the guarantee. He's going to carry forward his work, which relates to this, this whole thing about the imperfections that we have and that our that the church has. God isn't going to just abandon this. He's guaranteed that he's going to carry forward his work. 